Hey everyone, in this one I'm going to be attempting to show you how to use the software through the camera capture feature because it, the program will not let me capture the smaller window. It needs to be full screen uh, for some reason for OBS to pick it up. It will not pick up the window. So I'm doing it this way so I can show you guys how to set up the, uh, the program to make it look the way you want. Uh, so once you first launch it, you're going to get this window something like this. It's going to automatically default to the last shader that you picked. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the settings here real quick. So processing, these you can pretty much leave alone. You want to leave the global hotkeys activated so you can do the shortcuts on your keyboard. A show menu, you're going to want that so you can see this up here. And, you know, obviously when you go to full screen, it'll go ahead and, and uh, you know, get rid of the menu bar for you. Uh, so let's go ahead and show you here. So basically the other settings are input. This you'll need to change if you have like multiple monitors on, on your, uh, you know, your system to pick it to the one you want to capture from. Uh, everything else you could pretty much leave alone. Now this part here is the important one over here. So you want to keep this uh, the settings like this. Glass, the other stuff you could pretty much leave alone. Now for here, I recommend you do none because if you mess with the settings, it's going to change. You know, it's going to crop it and it may crop out of the screen or it may shrink the image. So you want to leave it on none unless you're doing something that you specifically want to crop the image. Then you can go ahead and change the settings on here. Uh, so as I said, the full screen, you want to go ahead and change from here. Frame skip, I would put that to none. So once you've done that, you can see the shortcut for full screen is Control Shift and G. So I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick here how to pick a shader. So you can go ahead and hit shader, hit choose. You'll see all the options on here. Now, according to the uh, website, this thing has over 300 filters, what I'm, which I'm pretty sure it does because there's a, a ton of things here to go through. So you can basically just leave the window like this over here and you can see what they look like. So you can just literally just touch one and it'll show you what the screen effects will look like once that filter is applied i kind of like this one here that mimics a like old school monitor so you can go ahead and you know just pick the one you you like what i recommend if you play a lot of old games and you want to keep the certain look for the filter that you have go over here to processing and you can do a save profile as and what i would do is just give it the name of the filter that you you know picked so this one's the bt220 so just go ahead and name it that And then after that, you know, maybe underscore or space or whatever you want. And then the name of the game you used it with. That way you'll know that's the filter, you know, applying to that game. Because you're going to need to do that if you do play a lot of them. So you don't get, you know, confused with uh, which uh, shader you wanted to apply to a game. So this is it for this part here. Because this pretty much, you know, just showed you how to how to save the settings and so forth. How to change the shaders. A quick note, if you're using Windows 11... Uh, you will be able to get rid of the yellow border that you see up here. With Windows 10, unfortunately, it will not let you remove that. So just a heads up, and Windows 10 will still show. Uh, I guess it's for its uh, security feature they had built to let you know that the screen is being captured. That way, you know, if it's not you capturing video, then that, you know, automatically tells you that someone has control of the, uh, the computer besides you. So we'll go ahead and close this out. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and post a couple of games. All right, guys, before I go ahead and show you some of the games running, uh, just a quick note here. If you pick a filter and it looks too blurry for you, go ahead and go back to the, uh, you know, the menu. If you don't see the menu on the uh, window, just go ahead and hit the letter M and you can toggle the menu options on and off. So what you want to do is go ahead and click to the one to the right of processing. You're going to click on input and then there's a setting there that says pixel size. You can go ahead and choose any of those 14. Now, if the pixel looks too fine for you, you want to go higher on the number. If it looks too blurry, just try, you know, lower numbers and play around with that setting so you get it to look the way that you feel comfortable with. And that way you can go ahead and set it to that. And you can do that, you know, per each game independently. So what we'll do now, we'll go ahead and show you some of the games running.